You may not see Prince Harry and Meghan publicly, but every day, my family, there's a new story about Harry and Meghan. Every single day. And yet, we don't see Prince Harry and Meghan publicly. My family, I wish we could get to see Prince Harry and Meghan. My thing is, right now, they have not been spotted publicly, and that is a fact. Regardless of that, every single day, a new story pops up about Harry and Meghan. And this time, it's from Paid Six, a Madoc owned media outlet in the US that is saying they have a scoop on a future project for Prince Harry. That's what they are basically saying. My family, you know, first of all, when Harry and Meghan were in the UK, you heard from those so-called palace sources, palace insiders, leaking and briefing against Harry and Meghan. And right now, they are saying that they have sources in Netflix. My family, that's a lie. They are speculating about Harry and Meghan's future projects. That is what they are doing because they have no information on Harry and Meghan. However, they do need Harry and Meghan for clicks. That is what they do need, my family. And my family, it's so disgusting how Rupert Murdoch has weaponized his media outlets, even in the US, to continue hounding and harassing Harry in the US. It is quite despicable what they are doing, my family. And my family, there is no scoop from them about, you know, Harry and Meghan because they know nothing about Harry and Meghan's projects. They know nothing about Harry and Meghan's projects. You know, just a few days ago, you heard that lie from the UK tablet media and also from the Madoc owned press like Page Six, TMZ, that Netflix was going to be dropping Prince Harry and Meghan. That's what they said. And then a few days ago, Netflix said this in response, that they value their partnership with Prince Harry and Meghan's Archwell Productions. My family, that's what Netflix said. And now the new story is that Prince Harry is planning to return to Africa solo without Meghan Markle. And they like so much to emphasize without Meghan Markle. That's what they like to emphasize so much. Because their readers like to be just given that hope that somehow all ain't well between Harry and Meghan. That somehow Prince Harry and Meghan, they are splitting up. They are going their separate ways. That's what they are trying to imply. And my family, that ain't true. That's a lie from the UK tablet press. They are lying about Prince Harry. They, they know nothing about Prince Harry or his projects. My family, they know nothing. What is happening that they are speculating? Just hear what Keza said about this, my family. And I quote, Page Six has a scoop on a future project for Prince Harry. Page Six is part of the New York Post, which is part of Rupert Murdoch's print empire. Still, Page Six has had scoops on some of Prince Harry and Meghan's business moves, mostly because Page Six has an inside track on New York media, publishing, and entertainment. They pretend to have an, you know, insiders on streamers. But my family, Keza says, I'm not sure they do. Because even in my opinion, they don't. My family, why isn't 
CNN, the one who's covering this, think that Prince Harry has a project for Netflix whereby they'll be going to Africa to film a documentary for Netflix. Why is it always a Madoc-owned media outlet who are so obsessed with Harry and Meghan's business moves? First of all, let us get things very, very clear. Rupert Madoc wants to clip Harry and Meghan's wings so that Prince Harry won't be able to take his tablet in the UK to court. And my family, they have been harassing Netflix, bombarding them with headlines saying that somehow that Netflix wants to drop Harry and Meghan. Insiders claim. And then Netflix said a couple of days ago they value their partnership with Harry and Meghan production actual. With Harry and Meghan's actual productions. Netflix said that. And just by that statement from Netflix, it destroyed all those lies created by the UKW media and the Madoc owned media outlets in the US. It's always a Madoc owned paper that's harassing Prince Harry and Meghan. It's always them that claim to have scoops on Harry and Meghan. My family, let me ask a question. Do Harry and Meghan speak to Rupert Murdoch-owned media outlets? My family, they do not. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, don't speak to Rupert Murdoch-owned media outlets. And also, Harry and Meghan don't speak through sources. They have a spokesperson who speaks on their behalf. My family. And it's despicable how you are seeing the media lying about Harry and Meghan because they want Harry and Meghan to respond to them. It's also quite despicable at how constantly they keep jumping up and down just trying to portray falsely that all ain't well between Harry and Meghan in Montecito. When Harry was in court just a few days ago, he was telling the judge, I'm going to be FaceTiming with my wife Meghan and my kids. Harry said that in court. My family, Harry stayed in California to attend his daughter's birthday. Much of the anger of the tablet media, those so-called role experts were like, couldn't you hurry? Postponed your daughter's birthday. She won't know. That's how they were like because they were so angry that Harry did not attend the first day, you know, of his court case versus the mirror before he was cross-examined, my family. They did not like that one bit. And yet already it was said that Harry would be cross-examined on Tuesday, not on Monday. And they knew that. However, they were so pissed off that even Harry's lawyer said that Prince Harry attended his daughter's birthday and he arrived in the UK and was jet lagged. He'll come to be cross examined on Tuesday. They were so angry. They were like, Why couldn't you, Harry, just postpone your daughter's birthday? They're angry because Harry keeps on showing that his priority is his wife and children and that hurts the racist tabloid totally media. And no matter what they do, they can write as many articles as they want. Oh, Harry is going to do this without Megan. Harry is going to do that without Megan. But the fact is, my family, that won't change one thing. Megan has got the ring. Megan is the wife of Prince Harry. Megan is the mother of Harry's kids, Archie and Lily Bettana. And my family, Harry, has always shown he'll always pick Megan and definitely not the tabloid media.
or the Rupert Murdoch owned media outlets, my family. Harry has always shown that, my family. My family, now kindly please hear what they've also been saying, my family. That a source at Netflix <laughs> said, obviously, Harry has a lot of roots in Africa and he feels at home there. While an insider of Netflix confirmed it was one of a number of ideas that the royal had been discussing. That is what they are saying, my family. In Harry's memoir, Spare, Harry speaks about Botswana, my family. As a matter of fact, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan, one of their dates was basically Harry inviting Meghan to Botswana to come and spend time with him in Botswana for one of Harry and Meghan's dates. So my family, for those who have read Harry's memoir spare, you know about Harry's passions. However, what is happening right now, my family, is that they are trying to create a story which can stick about Prince Harry. That is what they are trying to do, my family. And my family, one thing is clear to me, my family, that everyone should know. UK tablets or the Madog on press, Harry does not speak to them one bit. And so they are left to speculate on anything that Harry and Meghan might or might not be doing. And looking for a story which can kind of stick. That can make sense. That is what they are doing, my family. My family, last summer, Prince Harry flew to Mozambique. And the tabloids thought he was on vacation at a luxury hotel. But it turned out that Harry was leading a U.S. Congress delegation through a multi-country tour of various conservation and environmental programs. My family, that's what Harry was doing last summer with U.S. Senators, my family. That's what Harry was doing. And my family, guess what happened? The tablets did not know what Harry was doing, you know, over there. They had no idea until the trip was over and done with. So my family, these people don't have access to Harry's life. Not anymore. They know nothing about what Harry or Meghan are doing. They don't know their projects. They have no idea. They just have to wait. However, they're impatient because they have nothing to talk about. And they need something to talk about. They need something to write about. They need something to speak about. That is what they are looking for. My family, my message to the UK Double media and the Madoc on press. Look elsewhere for stories having to do with, you know, William and Kimbleton and leave Harry and Meghan alone. Look for stories about Kate and William and leave Harry and Meghan who want nothing to do with you alone and focus on your taxpayer funded royals in the UK, Prince William and Kimbleton. Focus on them, please. Just focus on them. We demand you focus on the taxpayer earning members of the royal family and leave Harry and Meghan who are not taxpayer funded alone. My family, I get why the tablets and the Madog on press, they want some content from Harry and Meghan. They are pressuring for news on content on Harry and Meghan's projects with family, on Harry and Meghan's projects. Because they want something to write. Royals in the UK don't get them clicks. William does not get them clicks. Kate does not get them clicks. Only Harry and Meghan do. 
talking about Harry and Meghan too. That's what gets them clicks. No wonder GB propaganda can't go a day without having a segment attacking Harry and Meghan. Despite the fact that Harry and Meghan fled the UK three years ago, still every day you think they are seen every single day. And my family, I hope that Harry and Meghan were being seen every day. I really hope. Because I'm a fan, I'd love to see Harry and Meghan. But the reality is, they are not seen every day. However, what everyone and anyone should take note of is that even when Harry and Meghan are not visible, still, the attacks don't stop. Still, the smears towards Harry and Meghan don't stop. Every day, there is a new story created by the Madoc on press or the Rothmere on press who are desperate for any content pertaining to Harry and Meghan because that is what gets them clicks. My family, why can't they just focus on the taxpayer-funded royals in the UK? Kate, William, Charles, Camilla, and just leave Harry and Meghan alone. My family, I do know for a fact that the UK media they want to destroy Prince Harry, yes. That's what they want to achieve, destroy the spare completely. To ensure that he can't get deals in Hollywood. That's what they want. No wonder the tabloids and the Madocon press have been going so hard after Harry and Meghan. Attacks after attacks after attacks after attacks. Even trying to portray Harry and Meghan as flops. Despite having, you know, delivered for Netflix, giving them a highly successful documentary. Even if Meghan and Harry, you know, agreement with Spotify has ended, the fact is Meghan's podcast archetypes beat Joe Rogan's podcast. And my family, that's very, very hard to do. Very hard to be able to achieve. But Meghan was able to do that, my family. You know? Megan was able to do that, my family. And that's very hard. One episode of Joe Rogan's podcast gets up to 11 million viewers. And Megan was able to get that, to beat Joe Rogan on some occasions, my family. And it was widely reported by the tabloids themselves, by the media themselves. So my family... What they do want, however, is to portray Harry and Meghan as flops. So that my family, people who are reading this stuff online, end up refusing to work with, you know, Prince Harry and Meghan. If anyone wanted to work with Harry and Meghan, they don't want to work with them because of the lies being spread online about Harry and Meghan. My family. However, in three years, my family, Harry and Meghan have been able to achieve so much. They've been able to pay for their own security. They bought their first ever home together as a couple, as a family. My family, they've delivered a highly successful documentary for Netflix. Harry and Meghan have achieved so much. Harry got a job at Better Off, my family. You know? Harry did that. My family and Harry will continue being blessed each and every single day of his life. And no weapon formed against Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, or Libertad shall ever prosper. And Harry and Meghan will keep on thriving each and every single day of their lives, my family. And my family, the Tommy media that seeks to destroy Harry and Meghan, that seeks to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan's marriage, Harry chose Meghan. Harry chose Meghan. Harry would much rather be Meghan's husband, Archie and Lily's father, than your prince. And I know that that hungers you so much. That pisses you off so much. Well, guess what? And that's how it will always continue to be. Harry will always choose his wife and kids. And never the people who've abused him, who've gone after the people he loves, 
Somebody just has to tell the Theke media. Because this, they keep hoping that somehow her is going to come back to them. They keep hoping that her is going to come back to them and family. Well, that just ain't going to happen. That just ain't going to happen. And my family, they never ever ask those questions of how Prince William goes to a nightclub. A nightclub alone without his wife Kim Hilton. You never hear. William sported at nightclub without wife Kim Hilton. You never ever hear that. William sported at nightclub without Kim Hilton. You never hear that from the UK media because already they do know that William and Kim Hilton are living separate lives. And they project what's happening between William and Kim Hilton onto Harry and Meghan. That's what they normally do time and time again. My family, and they need to stop. They need to stop what they're doing. Stop projecting William and Kim Hilton's, you know, unhappy life, unhappy marriage, loveless marriage onto Harry and Meghan. That's what the tablets need to stop doing, my family. My family, Megan did the podcast on Spotify, Archetypes. Prince Harry, if he wants to do something, you know, a documentary of something he loves, then that is what he's going to do. But one thing is clear is that Prince Harry and Megan are doing what they are doing together. Even in Megan's podcast, Archetypes. We heard of how, you know, Megan would inquire about some topics next to her husband. But Megan would be like, you know, she's asking Harry, did you know this? Harry, H, my love, did you know this? In some, you know, episode, Megan talked about that, my family. My family, those podcasts that even Megan released, my family, for archetypes. I'm sure Prince Harry heard about each and every single one of them. Even in one podcast, even whereby Megan featured, you know, some men like Trevor, also Andy Cohen. In that podcast, Megan said that Harry had told her. To even, you know, include some men in the topics, my family. That's what, you know, Megan said on a podcast archetypes. So my family, Harry and Megan work together. And even in the Cut Magazine article, Harry himself said, he said, and I quote, some members of his own family can't live and work together. <laughs> Harry said some members of his own family, he knows them, they can't live and work together. However, for he and Megan, they live and work together because they love each other. They adore each other. My family, they love and adore each other. And everything they do, every achievement, every milestone they are able to achieve in Hollywood, in their work, my family, it's Harry and Meghan as a team. They have both achieved it. My family. When Meghan went to receive the Women of Vision Award in New York City, who did Meghan go with? She went with her husband and Doria. Every achievement, every milestone, my family, they, Harry and Meghan, celebrate it together as a couple and as people who love each other. My family and Harry and Meghan will always be a team. My family always and forever. And the tablets must learn to accept that Harry has chosen. And Harry has chosen his wife Meghan, the mother of his kids, and also his children, Archie, Elizabeth, Anna, and will never ever choose the toxic UK tabloid media. Never, ever, 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 ever. My family, 
And no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libby, Dana, and Donella Glass shall ever prosper my family. But my family, also, I want to read you a part from Harry's memoir even about Botswana. My family, where he was with Megan, where he spent his time with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. My family, here is what Prince Harry first of all said, my family. And I quote, Megan, whom I was not calling Meg, or sometimes just M, was stunned. The vivid colors, the pure fresh air. She traveled, but she'd never seen anything like this. This was the world before the world was made. She opened her small suitcase. She needed to get something. Here it comes, I thought. The mirror, the hair dryer, the makeup kit. The fluffy duvet, the dozen pair of shoes. I was shamefully stereotyping. American actress equals diva. To my shock and delight, there was nothing in that suitcase but bare essential shorts, ripped jeans, and snacks, and a yoga mat. We sat in canvas chairs, watched the sunset and the moon rise. I whipped up some bush cocktails, whiskey, the splash of river water. Tige offered Meg a glass of wine and showed her how to cut the end of a plastic water bottle and turn it into a goblet. We told stories, laughed a lot, then Tige and Mike cooked us a lovely dinner. My family, I'm talking about when Harry and Megan were in Botswana together. Harry said, we ate around the fire. Staring at the stars. At bedtime, I guided Meg through the darkness to the tent. Where is the flashlight? Meg asked. You mean the torch? We both laughed. The tent was very small and very spartan. If she had been expecting some glamping trip, she was now fully divested of that fantasy. We lay down inside on our backs. Feeling the moment, reckoning with the moment, there were separate bedrolls. The result of much worry and many conversations with Tej. Did not want to be presumptuous. We pushed them together, lay shoulder to shoulder. We stared at the roof, listening, talking, watching moon shadows flutter across the nylon. Then a loud munching sound. Meg bolted upright. What's that? Elephant, I said. Just one. From what I could tell, just outside, eating peacefully from the shrubs around us. She won't hurt us. She won't. Soon after, the tent shook from a loud roar. Lions, are we going to be okay? Yes, don't worry. She laid down, put her head on my chest. Trust me, I told her, I'll keep you safe. My family, Harry's promise to Megan, I'll keep you safe when Harry and Megan were in Botswana. And my family, Harry has done that each and every single day of his life. So if tabloids are somehow expecting something of Harry to abandon his wife and kids, like what they keep on dreaming of, well, they should think again because that's never, ever going to happen, my family. That's never going to happen. And Harry is always going to put his wife and kids first, always and forever. My family, Prince Harry Meghan, are working to put food on their table and also on the table of the kids and also a roof over their own heads and the heads of their kids. That's what Harry and Meghan are doing. And obviously, they do need to work. They don't earn a penny of taxpayer money, not even a single penny. And my family, Whatever they do, whether it's, you know, going to film a documentary, which clearly my family is unconfirmed. It has not been confirmed even right now. Nobody knows. There have been no leaks from Harry and Meghan's side. So clearly, it's just speculation, my family. 
You haven't even had even a comment from Megan or Harry about it. So my family, once again, I feel like the tablets are just lying and lying and lying about Prince Harry and Meghan just because they want a story about Prince Harry, just because they need to write a story about Harry. My family, it's high time that they focus on William and Kim Moulton and leave Harry and Meghan alone. That's what they need to do, my family. And also, on top of this, my family, they mention the writer strike in America right now. That's what they are mentioning, my family. And my family, it's true right now, there is a writer strike in America right now. And which has affected so many things in America in terms of production of content or late night shows. And my family, based on even what they are seeing right now, my family, based on what even I have seen clearly, this is just merely speculation. They don't have the truth. For Harry and Megan documentary, for instance, my family, Megan alluded, you know, to a magazine that they've never ever spoken about, you know, the love story. And then I was like, okay, yes, it's coming. This time, in this project, my family, we have never ever heard about, you know, Harry even saying that he wants to film a documentary for in Africa. We have never ever heard that. Right now, you are seeing the Madog on press doing what it does best. Create a story. Fabricate a story. And then it's being picked up across different platforms. Mostly UK tablet press that call Harry Meghan irrelevant. Yet can't stop obsessing over Harry Meghan. So my family, they know nothing about Prince Harry Meghan. They know nothing at all about Prince Harry Meghan. They don't know anything about what Harry Meghan is doing. My family, they know nothing about Harry Meghan. And so my family, yes, Harry does have a connection to Africa. But my family, until Netflix confirms anything, the police is never ever believe anything written about, you know, Harry and Meghan, about in documentary or whatever coming from the Madagon press about Harry Meghan. They know nothing about Harry Meghan. My family, if Harry is shooting a documentary, the world will know about it. Everyone will know about it. Everyone. My family. And so right now, they know nothing about Harry Meghan and right now, they are speculating because my family, they need something to write about Harry and Meghan because Harry and Meghan gets them clicks. And also because you do know the Mado media empire are now after Harry because of Harry suing them, you know, suing the Sun tabloid for phone hacking claims. And right now that to destroy Prince Harry and clip Harry's wings. My family, they won't succeed in destroying Prince Harry. They will not. And my family, with that and so much more, stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. What is confirmed here before I end this video is the heart of a Victor documentary. That is what is fully, fully confirmed. My family, that's what is confirmed. The heart of Invictus. Now that is confirmed by Netflix already. You know, anything else is just lies from the UK media and the Madoc on press. Anything else is lies, my family. And that's what I just wanted to say, my family. Stay tuned on this video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. And all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And no weapon from against Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria Raglan shall ever prosper, my family. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support 
and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.